Hey guys, it's me, Dude Man, and welcome to Call of Duty Ghost. So if you know that Papers, Please is over, the beta wasn't so over, it's time to play Call of Duty Ghost. Let's see, oh, that's good. A little bit of screen adjustment. Why there's no sounds? Wait a second, guys, there's no sounds over here. I'm gonna see you guys when sounds on. So, guys, I forgot to put the speakers in. And that's what there was no sound. Let's do a campaign. Hope the new game. Game is the normal, I do. I'm gonna be right here because, you know, I am. It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from tier 1 team were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective, to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days, they held their ground. The enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. This game will be awesome. He expressed warnings to others of a force so what menacing that he could only be described as like supernatural. Beautiful. That's what he looks like. Haru. Ghosts. The ghosts. Ghosts. Hey, this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. So you want me to just put subtitles over here, the Subtitles. You don't honestly believe... What the freak is subtitles? Why you put that story's true. Yeah. Oh, no. I do. Come on. Let's head back to the house. Let's go. Let's get up. Oh, I'm feeling weird. Let's go. Share All right, I'm going. Wait, wait a second. Ah. Logan Rockles and Dude. This game is. This game is very beautiful. Show me that. This game is so beautiful in Mouth and 3. Is it for me? Yeah, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. We can start to pick up, too. You're busy. So I guess we're going to get to the Let's just get to the house. I'll just run get to the house. I'm going to press this button. I like Ralph with me. Oh. No, I know 
was gonna happen. Flashback type crap. Like three, two, five minutes earlier. Actually, I've seen what the, en the ending is really, really, very good. I've played this game. I'm not putting my friends played that ending. I know it's going to be going on. What's this going on? I love you, love. Ignite those RCS fuel lines. You heard it, Baker. 
She's like, yeah, I love this. We have oh. an OS with the crew of Odin Control. Repeat, lots of signal with Odin Control. You're going down. It's so bright. I can't see it. Now what's going to happen? Chapter 1 ending? After mission number 1, I'm going to end this mission. Oh, there, there was Arjun. Tank. There, that was Arjun. Shit. Crap. Dad said he was going for the truck. We have to find him. Get across. Quick. Come in. Whoa. That's it, Super One. Mission One. Federation's rise to power. So thank you guys for watching this. Leave a like and subscribe for one to one hundred subscribers. And see you guys in the next episode. Bye.